Hello, Wisconsin. Governor Tony Evers here. Three years ago, when I ran for governor, I promised to support a nonpartisan redistricting commission because I believe, and I know Wisconsinites agree, that people should get to choose their elected officials, not the other way around. As other politicians in the state abuse their power to try and predetermine our elections, as they try to create controversy where there is none, as they try to discredit the hard work of our election administrators and poll workers who helped ensure we had a free, fair, and secure election last November, I will not. I will protect the right of every eligible voter to cast their ballot. I will defend our democracy, our elections, and the people who do this work every day. And I will fight for nonpartisan redistricting to be the law of the land as long as I'm governor because it's the right thing to do, and it's a promise I made to you. That's why I created the People's Maps Commission. Nine Wisconsinites selected by a panel of three retired judges to represent each congressional district and to serve as our state's nonpartisan redistricting commission. They weren't elected officials, lobbyists, or high-paid consultants. They're doctors, librarians, community members, and educators. And they worked hard over the last year to listen to folks from every corner of our state to prepare a set of maps for the legislature and me to consider. But what's sitting in front of me here are gerrymandered maps modeled after the same gerrymandered maps we've had for a decade. Hundreds showed up on short notice to voice their opposition to these maps, and not a single member of the public testified in support of these bills at that public hearing. And they were sent out to my desk over the objections of a decade's worth of people in the state demanding better, demanding more, and demanding a fair, nonpartisan process for preparing our maps for the next 10 years. Elected officials shouldn't be able to depend on the comfort of their seats instead of the quality of their work. And the gerrymandered maps Republicans passed a decade ago have enabled legislators to safely ignore the people who elected them. And these maps here, they're more of the same. They're gerrymandering 2.0. I told the legislature early on to go back to the drawing board when these were first introduced. I've said all along I'd veto these maps if they came to my desk. This was about elected officials having the courage to do the right thing when it mattered most, and the members of this legislature failed to deliver. So with that, I'm now vetoing SB 621 and SB 622. These gerrymandered maps will not become law. I promised I'd never sign gerrymandered maps that came to my desk, and I'm delivering on that promise today. This is just too important, folks. Our state deserves better, and we're going to keep working as long as I'm governor to bring fair maps to Wisconsin. Thank you.